Does that work? That works. Right? All right. All right. Thank you so much for coming out, everybody. I'm super, super excited about today. I'm um, glad to see some uh, familiar faces. Glad to see some new faces. And it is my pleasure and my honor to introduce our guest speaker for tonight. But before we do that, just a little bit of housekeeping. If you guys will go ahead and get out your cellular devices, recording devices, whatever it is. We are going to be recording in the back, so no need to record. Uh, turn them off, mute them silent. We don't want there to be any distractions. Um, bathrooms are down the hallway. If you guys have any questions, hold them to the ends, because we will have experts to be able to answer those questions for you. But without further ado, our guest speaker that flew in yesterday, he is fluent in multiple different languages. In fact, I heard him speaking a different language earlier in Russian. And he is <coughs> gold executive director, bronze executive director. He is on his way to building a platinum team right now, a master recruiter, and taking the market by storm. So he knows all the facts. He's having a ton of fun helping a lot of people. So if you guys will all raise to your feet real quick and welcome Mr. Chris Ward. All right. Make sure my tech is on here. All right. Welcome, everybody. Hey, I'd be remiss if I didn't say anything about the young gentleman that introduced me for you people. Uh, he's the regional manager of uh, one of the finest cities in the state, Tulsa, Oklahoma. So let's go his father. The other, I'd like to thank Mr. Johnson for bringing me in as well. He treated us to an incredible performance club dinner last night. So uh, thank you. Let's give Mr. Johnson a round of applause. So yeah, I'm going to get started with, uh, uh, thank all of you all for coming out and taking time on your Saturday to take a look at Legal Shield. For some of you, some of this information will be brand new. Uh, this is one of your first events of the year, so uh, plug in. This is going to be great. My background, essentially why I speak other languages, was I was in the Army for 11 years. And I came, thank you very much. And uh, so essentially, I grew up in a very small town in Missouri uh, called Sweet Springs, about 1,600 people. And uh, I didn't take education very seriously. I was a B student. Uh, but uh, So the, really the only option of me to get out of that small town was to join the military. I did that at 18, went straight to Korea, uh, went to Bosnia. I spent years in Bosnia, which is where I learned the language in, in Yugoslavia, and then started studying Russian as well. And I, after about 10 years, I knew that I was going to get out. I just had some philosophical differences in the direction that the military was kind of going in and I decided to get out. So that full last year after my 10th year in, I started applying to jobs here, there, and everywhere. And I thought I had an impeccable resume. I, you know, I spoke several languages. I had four and a half years of overseas service. And I just knew I was going to get a six-figure job anywhere I applied to. Uh, however, the phone wasn't ringing. You know, has anybody tried to get a job recently you realize you cannot apply in person? Oh, yeah. It's always online oh, yeah. through a computer. You cannot wow them with your brilliance because they will not meet with you. And you knew if you just got that interview, you could seal the deal right away. Well, in Monterey, California, where I was living at the time, uh, Monterey didn't have, I, my background was in reconnaissance and intelligence. And so, I, no jokes about military intelligence. There's always one guy that starts laughing as soon as I mention MI. But essentially, there was no work for me in Monterey. And the only jobs that were available to me that were being offered was for me to go to Iraq and Afghanistan, which was the place that I was avoiding going to while I was in the service. So I, I decided I had to look at other income options because I wanted to stay in Monterey. Has anybody been to Monterey, California? Beautiful place, right? You have to be a millionaire to own property in Monterey, California. Wow. You know, my condo that I rented if to purchase it, it would have been $300,000 for a one-bedroom condo. And that's no parking. That's roadside parking. So that's, it's pretty incredible what real estate goes for in California. So I decided to follow a childhood dream of mine, which was to start a video production company. So I know Paul, he, said, he was telling me earlier, he dabbles in video production as well. And I did that. But I knew nothing about video production, nor nothing about business. But I was a big fan of Quentin Tarantino. Does anybody know Quentin? Tarantino yeah. and his partner Robert Rodriguez. Well, Robert Rodriguez said in an interview, the first thing you need to do to be a film producer is just get a business card that says you're a film producer and then voila, that's all you need. I was like, well, I can do that. So I took all the money I had saved, all the money I would saved in the army, 
and which was about seventeen thousand dollars, and I invested in a video production company. Uh, we rented. I partnered up with a company that owned a recording studio down the beautiful Cannery Row, and we got started. And we uh, we had some instant success because we were doing a lot of film projects that were not happening outside of the LA marketplace. And so we started to pursue. And it was about eight months into my business that a gentleman came in and he said, "I'd like to show you a way to protect and grow your business." Both things that I was very interested in. Because I'll tell you what I was doing up to that point was our, me and my partners had an attorney, he was a friend of ours, who charged us $400 an hour. We had a $10,000 retainer for his services. But I saw how fast $400 an hour can get chipped away every time he sent me the, the bill and I was like, oh my God, how did we spend that much money? So what I decided to do was use his contracts and I copied them into a Word document and then I was changing around the words for different clients depending on what their needs were. Just praying to God it never ended up on a judge's table. Right? Has anybody ever played that on the self-employed lawyer? You know, you start doing your own legal? Yeah, right. I know there's more legal. See, we got one honest person in the room. So, uh, so when the gentleman showed me Legal Shield for our business, I was excited. I was a little skeptical because when they told me the price point, I said, well, my attorney charges $400 an hour, and I rarely can get him on the phone. And you're telling me they'll answer the phone every time I call. I was like, ah, I'm not buying it, right? So I tried out the services because I said the worst thing that can happen is I lose one monthly installment and then I can cancel the program. Well, we tried it out and in the first two months, we determined we saved about $2,500 in legal fees between me and my partners because we were using it for personal and business use. I mean, we abused the membership when we got started with it. And so I told the gentleman that introduced me to it, I said, listen, this is something that every business owner has to have. I even went to the Chamber of Commerce in Monterey and I said, hey, have you all heard about this Legal Shield program? And they said, no, we'd never heard of it. And I knew, I was like, there's an opportunity for me here. And so I told the guy, I said, listen, this is something everybody needs. He goes, do you really feel that way? I said, absolutely. Every business owner to be in business has to have this program. And he goes, well, if you feel that way, there's a business opportunity in it for you. I was like, really? So he took me out, showed me a, showed me a presentation. I'm going to show you the family plan. But understand there's a business plan as well. And there's actually three divisions that we're expanding on. So I'm going to talk about three things. A little technical. I'm going to talk about who we are. I'm going to talk about what we do. And I'm going to talk about why so many people are taking a serious look at Legal Shield right now. So how many of you have used attorneys in the background outside of Legal Shield? Let's say completely independent of Legal Shield. Right? Okay. That's a lot more than most people. Well, essentially... Uh, the people that hadn't used attorneys, more often than not, I did an employee enro uh, benefit enrollment for a company in uh, Sunnyvale, just south of San Francisco, just two days ago. And nobody, in the, out of 10 people that were in the room, this is an IT tech company, I said, how many of you used attorneys? Nobody raised their hand. I said, well, why not? And the resounding answer was? It cost too much. It cost too much. They hadn't even used an attorney, and they believed that it cost too much. So if you've never even used an attorney, and you think it cost too much. What about the people that have used an attorney just know darn good and well that it costs too much, right? So, but ask yourselves this. If you hadn't used an attorney or used them sparingly, how many times have you ever signed a contract or document that you didn't read or didn't fully understand? How about how many times have you been overcharged for repair or treated unfairly? When you're in California, you get your car worked on, you've been overcharged. That's like, <laughs> you just know it. There's not even a question in your mind. How about received a traffic ticket that you thought was defensible? I think all traffic tickets are defensible. That's my personal opinion. I learned a valuable lesson when I moved to Colorado last year was because in California, uh, has any of you lived in California? So you've heard of the California stop? That's when you roll up to like a stop sign or a light and nobody's coming, so you just go through it, right? Well, in Colorado, I learned a very valuable lesson when I moved out there is because they take your picture when you do that. So in my first month, I got three photographs rolling through stoplights at uh, intersections in Denver, uh, non-defensible. So let that be a lesson for you coming to visit me in Denver. Do not roll through stoplights. All right. How about how many of you have known a victim of identity theft or been one yourself? All right. Fastest growing crime in the world. I had very intimate experiences with this when I was working in Yugoslavia. But I'll share a little bit more about that story. But how many times have you just been in a situation where the advice of an attorney would allow you to make a smart or a better decision than what you're doing? A lot of the times. You know? Have you ever wondered if you're being treated unfairly what your rights were? What do you do outside of Legal Shield? Good. If I post on Facebook, you can't believe what my boss said to me. Rah, rah, rah. My neighbor's doing this. Rah, 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 rah. 
Well, a lot of people that just do that, what they're looking for is sympathy. They're not really looking for advice and guidance. Right. Because to get advice and guidance would cost too much and oftentimes more than the problem. So you need legal shield. Legal shield from 30,000 feet gives you the ability to talk to an attorney on any matter without worrying about the high hourly costs. For one flat monthly fee, you can access legal advice no matter how traumatic or trivial the issue. That's why under the protection of Legal Shield right now, we have over 1.4 million families paying month to month for this service. What I'm going to do now is I'd like to share a short video with you, just talk a little bit about the background of our company. For more than 40 years, Legal Shield has been revolutionizing the legal services industry. Revolutionizing the legal services industry? That doesn't quite capture the personal, lasting impact we have made and continue to make on thousands of individuals' lives. Imagine having an everyday concern or question where getting the advice of an attorney would be useful. Imagine the trauma of discovering that you are the victim of identity theft. Imagine encountering a situation where the advice of an attorney is absolutely imperative. Now imagine addressing all that stress with one phone call. That's what we do for you at Legal Shield. You can speak to an attorney without the worry of having to pay an attorney's typical fees. And together with our identity theft services, we provide you with a shield that results in powerful peace of mind. We were founded in 1972 by Harlan Stonecipher. He had just endured his own stressful, costly encounter with the legal system after a car accident that was not his fault. He was determined to make legal protection available to everyone, everywhere. Today, we have evolved into the force for good that Mr. Stonecipher originally envisioned. Based in Ada, Oklahoma, we have approximately 700 employees with a customer service team of more than 300, all focused on calibrating the efforts of our dedicated law firms and approximately 6,900 attorneys in the United States and Canada. Each law firm is there for our members, providing the legal help they need when they need it. So, for one low monthly membership fee, you can pick up the phone to call an attorney and get advice about any issue. We provide these legal services to families all across North America, answering approximately 40,000 calls per week for members. That's right, 40,000 times a week, we help smooth out the knots, kinks, and inconveniences in our members' lives. The attorneys at our law firms average 19 years of experience and have been partnering with us an average of 13 years. They are friendly, warm, and dedicated to helping Legal Shield members. And just as we partner with an expert law firm for every state, we also partner with Kroll Advisory Solutions, the world-renowned leader in identity theft protection. That way, no matter what issue you might face, you're getting the help you need with Legal Shield. What we do is simple. We work hard to make your life less complicated, less stressful, and more fulfilling. That's why with Legal Shield, you can worry less and live more. Amazing. Mm -hmm. That is awesome. Now imagine just being able to pick up the phone and ask questions regarding any area of law. So right now, a lot of you have some situation in your minds that you're thinking about, and you're going to ask yourself, will they cover this, or will they talk to me about it? Well, understand is that you can call about anything. Well, a lot of families are dealing with, I already know, I mean, divorce is at all-time high right now. So a lot of people have issues. Either they're going through a divorce, or it's some sort of backlash. They're adjusting alimony payments or child support, custody issues. Financial, there's all kinds of medical disputes with insurance companies, home. There's landlord-tenant issues or tenant landlord issues, whichever, depending on which seat you're sitting in, uh, driver's license challenges. Uh, you know, we know, I know in the state of Colorado, they're saying that, uh, what is it, 30% of drivers on the roads are uninsured motorists. Right now, 30% in the state of Colorado. And so a lot of us have auto insurance coverage. It covers us in the event that we're hit by an uninsured motorist, correct? Mm -hmm. Well, how much is your coverage for? What they're finding is, is that People driving around in brand new BMWs getting wrecked with uninsured motorists only getting $1,000 for damage coverage. Wow. So that's fine if your car is only worth $1,000. You know, my 81 Ford Fairmont would have been covered <laughs> under that protection. <laughs> but if I'm driving around a brand new Mercedes or BMW and I get you know, hit by an uninsured motorist, then it's a different situation. 
And the state issues. We already know the American Bar Association states that 80% of North Americans do not have a last will and testament. Well, 100% of us need one. I can't speak for Oklahoma, but in Colorado, we're 100%. We're a mandatory probate state. So if you don't, if our state doesn't, if we don't have a will, the state of Colorado is going to have one for us. So I don't know if that's the same situation here. Yeah. So what do we do? Imagine this, is, is that if you're an attorney, and I came to you and I said, listen, what I want you to do is opposed to you charge me by an hourly rate. Now, nationwide, nationally, our average is about two to $300 an hour for an attorney. So for just simple math, imagine if I came to you and you were an attorney and I said, listen, I'd like you to cover me for a suite of services. I don't want to pay a lofty retainer fee and I'm not going to pay you by the hour. What I want you to charge me is one flat monthly rate. How much would you have to charge me for these services? First is unlimited consultation. Mm. I want to be able to pick up the phone and ask any question, whether it be trivial or traumatic, on any legal issue that I'm dealing with. And I want, when I get on the, first I want somebody to answer the phone. I don't want to leave a message on a machine wondering when somebody's going to get back to me. Right. And the second thing is, is I don't want there to be a clock running. So I want to be able to talk to you as long as I need to, to understand what my legal rights are. How much would you as my attorney have to charge me monthly to be available to me Monday through Friday, nine to five? A lot. Wouldn't you Just agree? It would probably be a lot. Yeah. Let's say you're not an attorney. How much would you charge me to you to be available to me Monday through Friday? <laughs> <laughs> Let's say you're not an attorney. Let's just say I need a housekeeper. So personal advice, all right? Well, a lot of situations may arise outside of the 9 to 5 coverage. So in the event of a legal emergency, you know, I'm being questioned, detained, or arrested, or child protective services wants to remove my children from my care, I want you to be available 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days out of the year. I don't care if it's New Year's Eve and you're out at the clubs, you know, and the clock's about to drop. If I call you, I want you to pick up the phone, right? How much would you have to charge me to be available to me 24-7? Mm. Wow. Wouldn't, you, wouldn't we be talking about ridiculous numbers now? Yeah. yeah. Right? Letters and phone calls. There's a lot of, you know, there's a lot of availability out there. I know there's a lot of uh, volunteer organizations and attorneys that do pro bono work to offer legal advice, but that's the limitation on it is, is that you're only going to get advice and guides. Well, some of my issues may require some sort of legal action. So on an unlimited basis, what I want is you to at least write one letter, make one phone call, as long as it's applicable by mm -hmm. law, uh, regarding my issue. And I'll give you an example. It was uh, th four months ago, I flew out to California to do some business. And when I flew back to Colorado, I'd, I'd had a, I got to the airport early, like three hours, and I decided to put my laptop into my check-in luggage because I didn't want to carry it around with me. Well. I flew to, I landed in Colorado about 1 o'clock in the morning. I went home, which was about an hour drive, so I got home at 2 a.m., and I just went to bed. Well, the next day I get up and kind of lazily, after my, you know, fifth cup of coffee, I decide to unpack my bag. Well, when I did, I found my laptop was missing. So I call, I mean, and I knew it wasn't just my laptop was missing because the charging cable was gone as well, and they weren't connected. Right. So somebody <laughs> dug through my suitcase to get this stuff out of there. Well, I called the airline to report it, and they said, well, when did you land? I said, 1 a.m. And they said, well, we apologize, sir. You only have four hours to report anything that's broken or stolen, or else we won't take any action on it. I said, I'm sorry. I said that again. Because <laughs> you're not that far of a drive. I will come whoop your butt. You know? <laughs> but they said, no. They said, uh, we can't do anything about it. And I said, I said, are you serious? I was like, I can't see that being true. And they said, well, actually, you have to call. If you want to file a report, you have to call um, the TSA because they're the ones responsible for it. So I called the TSA and I said, listen, hey, uh, the airline just told me that this happened and I'm supposed to file a report with you. And they said, well, that's not our responsibility. You have to call the airline. airline. <laughs> I was like, oh, I already know this game. Yeah. I've already seen this before. So we're going to play ping pong. Now, so I decided, instead of going into it further, I decided to call my law firm, uh, Riggs, Abney, Neil, Turpin, Orbison, and Lewis, which you all use as well. And they decided to call Parker Stanberry because the laws are a little bit stricter in California mm. than they are in Colorado because it's actually a criminal theft ex uh, case in the event that uh, they don't fork over a laptop. So they called Parker Stanberry. Parker Stanberry made a telephone call on my behalf to the airline. They didn't send me any money because they couldn't find my laptop. It was stolen by Lord knows who. There's so many hands that talk to our luggage. Right. You know, there's no way to know. Well, so they made a call on my behalf, and I don't know what they said, but in the mail, I received a brand new version of my laptop that I reported as stolen. <laughs> and I, yeah, it was awesome. And I want to be honest with you all. I was hoping they were going to send me money because I was going to buy a new laptop. But they sent me the exact same old computer I had already. I was like, oh, this is weak. But, you know, it was powerful that I got my laptop back, you know. So they'll do that on an unlimited number of situations. Now, the computer was only valued at $500. 
So how many of you prior to Legal Shield would have called an attorney for a $500 issue? No. You would never do no, that. Right. right? Because the, the solution would have cost more than the problem. Well, outside of that, we talked earlier about signing contracts and documents. So before you sign anything ever again, um, I want you, if you were my attorney, I want you to review my contracts and documents up to 15 pages in length. And if I'm buying a home, I want you to review an unlimited number of documents regarding my mortgage, as long as it's personally on house that I'm going to be living in. All right? How much would you have to charge me just to review any contracts or documents? Just like, how about, how about our insurance policies? Wouldn't you want to send in your auto insurance policy now and get a check to see how much coverage you have in the event of an uninsured motorist? Right? Absolutely you do. So that's one other thing there. Online legal forms, there is 52 companies that are selling online legal forms that you can download uh, individually anywhere between $20 to $100 per legal, per legal document. Uh, however, there's no attorney included in that uh, fee, so when you download the document, you're going to still have to go out of pocket to pay an attorney. So outside of that, I want you to give me access to hundreds of legal forms that I don't want you to charge me uh, anything for other than what I'm charging for monthly. So with the unlimited legal advice, you tell me what documents I need. I download it, I fill it out, you review it to make sure that I've dot, dot, dotted all my I's and crossed all my T's, and then I'll submit it. All right? I know we deal with a lot of immigration issues across the country, and those that have know that when a document is submitted and it's filled out improperly, sometimes immigration can hang up for years mm -hmm. on, a, on a wrong, uh, if the document hasn't been filled out properly. Lastly is a comprehensive will. I've never been married, I have no children. So I want to provide a will because I have a very nice comic book collection. Right? Now, <laughs> Now, my, I have three other brothers, and I would hate that if something were to happen to me, that my brothers are fighting over my comic books. Now, I can assure you, they have absolutely no interest in my comic books whatsoever, but how many times have you been at a funeral and you've seen people fight over yeah. grandma's doilies? Yeah. I don't even know what a doily is. If you know, just let me know at the back of the room. Or a painting that's you don't even know. that You couldn't sell the painting, but it has emotional attachment to somebody. Right? Or silverware. That's not even really silver. You know? <laughs> these things people fight over because they draw these emotional attachments to objects. Right. right? Why not have a last one in place? However, if I ever decide to get married and have children, I want you to update that will at no additional charge other than what you're charging me right now. How much would you what what kind of dollar sign are we talking about? We'd be probably talking about thousands of dollars, wouldn't we? Yeah. yeah. All right. Now when you say this, I want you to cover me retroactively for everything that's ever happened to me in the past as well as nationwide, folks, not an attorney on the land will ever take that. Not an attorney on the land. Now, when I move to the right side of the screen, understand I'm going to blaze through it fast, but you have to have the plan in place prior to participate. Fifteen days after enrollment, you can actually have an attorney represent you in traffic court for, for defensible moving traffic violations. Right? Defensible, again. Right? You can't go 105 and a 35 and expect that to be defensible. Right? <laughs> Unless you're driving a spaceship, I don't know. So trial defense, every single one of you today, when you get started with legal shield, are going to walk out of here with 60 trial defense hours already prepaid for by your membership. So in the event that you're ever named in a civil suit, you're going to have that type of coverage. We have another plan that we're going to talk about, which is a uh, trial defense supplement, which you can actually walk out of here with 75 trial defense hours and 25 pretrial. That's 100 trial defense hours walking out of here today. So that's a pretty powerful part of our service. 90 days, once you've had our membership for 90 days, you can be covered for uncontested divorce, adoption, separation, annulment, and uncontested name change. Nice. Powerful part of our plan. IRS audit assistance is for a W-2 audit. If you're named by an audit, you get one hour of a tax attorney's consultation. And if your audit actually goes to court, you have 46 and a half hours of attorney's representation if it goes to court. Anything I haven't covered is covered under what we call a 25% preferred member discount. I call it the I did it to myself area. This is the uh, <laughs> divorce, bankruptcy, loan modification, foreclosure, child support, anything where you need an attorney to actually represent you in court, you're still going to get the unlimited advice first. However, when you need an attorney to actually represent you, they're going to still ask for a retainer and you're still going to have to pay those hourly fees, but it's going to be 25% off. Pretty powerful. Who's covered? Everybody in the household. Not just a member, but the member's spouse or significant other. Any children in the household up to the age of 26 who have never been married, uh, who are full-time in the household, or up to 26 who are full-time in college, living anywhere in the United States. So if your child is going to school in Canada or any other country, they're not covered by this program. So make sure you understand that. Uh, and physically or mentally disabled children are, that are living at home are covered for life. I just, I just enrolled a gentleman two days ago when I was in California. Uh, whose daughter's 32 years old and she has MS and she can't speak. Uh, but that she still faces a, a wealth of legal issues yes. 
And so having access to the attorney, she's covered under our membership as well. <coughs> Identity theft, um, another part, uh, 10 years ago, a company called Kroll came to Legal Shield because they said, listen, we have the most comprehensive identity theft protection device that's available on the market today. And, and if you don't know Kroll, Kroll were the ones that when I had my top secret security clearance done, it was a Kroll licensed investigator that sat across the table from me. All right? It was amazing what they found out. You know, I had had a gentleman <coughs> that, um, so they came back after my interview and they found that I had a $900 derogatory remark on my credit report. And they said, what is this with a UO Wabash Fitness, $900? I said, I've never heard of Wabash Fitness. Couldn't be mine. They said, okay, not a problem. Well, they called me up two days later, and they said, well, Mr. Ward, uh, you need to come into the office. So I came in, and they had found the contract that I had signed at Wabash Fitness for an annual membership to a health club. And what had happened was when I was in college, it was just after the new year, and I was going to get big and buff for spring break. And so I'm driving down the road, and it was kind of in my mind, I see this big sign that said free. And you know when you're in college, free is like moth to a flame. You don't even care. You don't care what's free. You're just gonna go to it. And so I drove up, and, and I wasn't dressed to go to the gym. So I went in. And they said, "Listen, if you sign up today, you get your first month free." I signed up, right? I never stepped foot back in that gym again. Never lifted a weight. Never got on a treadmill. But eight years later, here is a $900 derogatory remark that I had to pay $900 to get off my credit score. Mm. I never had lifted away. Why? Because I never disputed it. And anything that you don't dispute 90 days after enrollment is you're 100% financially responsible for, according to the FTC, which has nothing to do with identity theft. But I'm just talking about the impact. This company, uh, they're the ones that put in the security blanket when NASA space shuttles would re-enter its atmosphere. They were called in by the Kuwaiti government uh, to research and, and recover $300 million in Kuwaiti gold bullion. Uh, more recently, during the, the Target scandal, uh, with, with all the, Kroll was the one that was called in to actually research who's still corrupting target files today. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, they are the creme de la creme in what they do. And 10 years ago, they said, listen, we can help you out. So they came to Legal Shield because they said, listen, almost all of our legal or our identity theft situations end in a legal situation. But we don't have the access to attorneys that Legal Shield can mm -hmm. provide. So Legal Shield became the marketing arm for the identity theft shield. And it's been a beautiful marriage in what we've done here. Now, it manifests itself in a lot of different ways because a lot of individuals immediately when I bring up identity theft will say things like, well, I don't shop online. Or uh, I shred my documents. Yeah. You know, or this and that. Well, that's great. And what they're really talking about is, is that they're trying to protect their credit. Right. Uh, however, credit is really a fraction of the beast that is identity theft. Social Security, there's over 25 million Americans working in the United States today that are using somebody else's Social Security number. 25 million people. Driver's license fraud, medical fraud, this is where somebody's taking out uh, or using your medical insurance information to get treated for themselves or their family members. Character criminal, where people are actually using yours and my identities to go out and commit crimes. Right? And then we have now what we see as this whole identity theft, where there was a young lady in Indiana for 10 years. She had somebody else that went out and got a job, took out a mortgage, got insurance information, had children, the whole nine yards and completely stole this woman, other woman's identity. Wow. When the police found out that there was an identity theft situation, the identity thief actually blamed the person for stealing her identity, and they went and arrested her. Oh. That was the actual, they arrested the victim. Oh. Because there was no way for the cops to distinguish who was who. You know it took 11 years before they actually got that to trial? 11 years. And why identity theft is so uh, attractive to criminals is because there's less than a 5% prosecution rate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, back in the day, to move drugs and guns across the border, I'd have to have vans. Well, now I can move a cell phone with a million identities across the, across the border and never have to think twice because yep. I'm never going to get caught. Mm -hmm. So we have a plan that I believe is the before, during, and after defense for what, what happens in identity theft. And I'll give you an example about... First of all, a lot of identity theft products, they charge each individual member separately. Our package covers everybody in the household. Not just the member of the spouse, but the children as well. We have, we'll give you an up-to-date credit report, so you understand, that you will be able to take a look at it. We'll give you credit consultation in the event that there's something on your credit report that you don't understand. However, what makes us different is our 100% identity restoration. Now, my brother was a double Purple Heart recipient uh, from Iraq. He was in the Marine Corps uh, from 18 to 22. 
And when he got out, he, he only joined the Marines so that he could take advantage of the educational benefits. He wanted to go to school, uh, and he did that. And, you know, and he served his country well. Well, whenever he got into his second semester of college, the Monterey Peninsula College had contacted him and said he needed to make his tuition payment. He said, no, the, the VA will handle that, Veterans Affairs Office. Well, the VA had canceled his benefits because in their database, my brother was a felon. Further research, he was arrested on drug charges in Detroit, Michigan, and was incarcerated and sent to prison. Well, it wasn't my brother. My brother was with me in Monterey, California. Right. But when he called, he, and he's a do-it-yourselfer, right? No offense to Marines, but they're a lot, you know, they're tougher in speech than they are in action. But my brother decided. <laughs> <laughs> so he calls. Wow. I'm Army, so we, there's that rivalry going on. So my brother, he decided to, my brother joined the Marines to spite me. That, so I have to stick him every once in a while. We won't talk about how he lost his wallet in New Orleans. <laughs> so that's how his driver's license information was corrupted. Well, a gentleman had actually got his driver's license information, had a new driver's license. And it was a real driver's license from the DMV that had all my brother's information, but this other gentleman's photograph on it. He gets arrested for drug charges, and so the database says it's him. So my brother calls Monterey Police Department. They said, we'll file a report, but we can't take action because it's not in our jurisdiction. Then they called Detroit, and they said, hey, you know, this is going on. They said, well, we're not going to file a report because we already have our guy. See, they weren't missing anybody. Right. They had their guy in jail. They weren't looking for a missing person, you know, a missing criminal. So, and my brother even tried to go as far as contacting the warden of the prison to no avail. So about two weeks into this circus, uh, I remind my brother, he already had our identity theft shield. So my brother contacts Kroll. They had him sign a limited power of attorney. And they assigned him a licensed investigator. Then I immediately went to the DMV database and took his driver's license information over to the prison. They said, hey, you got the wrong guy. Here's the evidence. So the prison expunged his record, and they found out the real gentleman, his real identity. Well, then they went to the Veterans Affairs Office, this licensed investigator from Kroll, and expunged his record through the Veterans Affairs Office, and the VA completely restored all his benefits, and they wrote my brother a check for his for college. Mm. Right? They did all that in two days. Oh, wow. Wow. Two days. And I was like, for anybody, anybody use Veterans Affairs Office here? Anybody? Wow. Can you get them to do anything in two days? No. I just filed for another benefit, and they said it'd be six months. And they may not like let it slide. I may have to appeal in six months. I was like, oh, that's, I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> well, we have two separate plans. We have our standard and we have our premium. The first one we provide is with single bureau of credit monitoring through Experian. If you'd like more <laughs> coverage, and if you definitely, if you have things that you're concerned about, if you have children, if you own your own property, or own your own business, I would definitely suggest the identity theft premium plan. We have a lot more bells and whistles as as in our web watcher where they double check to see if they're using your online persona and over 36 billion different websites with a B. Sex offender search, wouldn't you like to know if there was a sex offender that was using your address to mm -hmm. avoid being looked at strange by his neighbors? Yeah. Right? And this happens. In the state of California, it was atrocious. How many people found their house to be a red dot on a website? Mm. Right? So you'd like wow. to know the same thing. Social Security, Skip Trace, and of course we have Lost Wall Assistance. Um, we're the creme de la creme. Everybody here should recognize this building. This is our corporate office located not far in Ada, Oklahoma. And then we have Kroll as well. So um, another aspect of our plan that I think is great is, is that we have a cooperation with all kinds of large companies that provide discounts to our members. So not only are you going to have incredible discounts to legal and identity theft protection, but if you're shopping at any of these companies, you can also do it. I've rented cars through Enterprise for $125 a week mm. using our plan. Mm. So it's an incredible added benefit. Now. It's not thousands of dollars for as little as $19.95 a month for our legal plan. There is a one-time $10 enrollment fee, but any of these areas. So we have the trial defense supplement that I talked about with 100 uh, trial defense hours. Home business supplement. This is if you're a home-based business owner because if you have questions or the tax portion of our legal plan is not covered under uh, if you're a, a business owner. Uh, identity theft plan. Here's the standard. You see it's $14.95, but discounted to $9.95 when coupled with our uh, legal plan. So really, for $40 a month, you could be, have a whole wheel of protection around you. Now, close your eyes for a second, or don't, and think about what you spend on auto insurance, mm. life insurance, and health insurance. Mm. Are any one of those less than $40 a month? No. 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 Heck no. <laughs> and I've done this presentation a lot, and not one person ever said, yeah, mine's cheaper. Well, what happens if auto, life, and health don't do what they say they're going to do? 
Absolutely. Yeah. You need to call an attorney. So why not have this full protection with our legal and identity theft services? So the really the only question is if you see value in protecting yourself and your family for as, uh, around a dollar or two a day, why not share this information with other people? And that's what I loved about this model, this business model when I took a look at it, was because I was already accustomed to referring things to people anyway. Right? We talked last night, we were talking about the movie Lone Survivor. Mm -hmm. You know, great oh, yeah. movie. If, yeah. you, if you like war movies, if you don't like war movies, yeah. don't go see it because it's kind of graphic. But, you know, we're, how many people do you know that have children? Probably a lot. If you don't know anybody with children, then you need to get out more. Right? <laughs> how many people do you know that have had their identity compromised? Or how many people do you know that need to prepare or update their will? Right? This plan touches absolutely 100% of everybody in this nation. So there's nobody out there that can't benefit from it. So we've created, we, I always like to include myself, like I had anything to do with the decision making process. <laughs> when I got in a wreck 45 years ago in <laughs> hey, Oklahoma, I decided to come up with a legal service plan. <laughs> Just so, don't tell anybody I said that. But uh, essentially why Legal Shield is because this provides a way for you to refer something of value to people mm -hmm. that they can really truly benefit from. And there's an incredible business opportunity, really a career opportunity for each and every one of us. Why Legal Shield is because of the timing and the market uh, potential. So, market potential, we're going to talk a little bit about that. Uh, what happened two years ago, we were purchased by a private equity firm known as Mid Ocean Partners. Mid Ocean Partners then in turn went and hired decision analysts. They're one of the top marketing research firms in the United States. Uh, and you get, if you go to decisionanalyst.com, you can see the other types of clients that they worked with before. But they put together a survey because Mid Ocean Partners wanted to know really who would take advantage of a legal service plan. Mm -hmm. right? Because those of us out there in the field, we think that very few people would take advantage of it. But the reality is it's completely the opposite. So I'm going to show you some numbers. They found that nearly 90% of Americans say they do not have any form of legal insurance or legal protections. <coughs> now, when they include legal service plans, they're talking about 90% of North Americans cannot afford to pick up the phone and talk to an attorney. That was corroborated by the American Bar Association. Yep. Right. That wasn't just here. Oh, yeah. Two thirds of Americans say they have never heard of anything like this. 60%, or I'm sorry, yeah, so 60% said they'd be interested. Here is the exact, if you don't have a copy of this, definitely if, if you're not handing these out, at least have one on your person to share with people. This is the actual um, survey results. I'll just read you the, the actual question. When asked if they would be willing to pay $20 per month to have unlimited access to qualified attorneys at an accomplished law firm for advice and counsel on legal issues, no matter how serious or trivial, more than 60% reported that they would be interested in purchasing legal protection right now. 60% mm. of everybody that you walk by is, is ready and open for this service. All right? We already know that 15% yeah. would buy it right now. 100% would buy it today if they knew that it existed. Right? So if we just talk about the 50%, the, yeah. The actual, that, just like you said, they just simply don't know that it exists. Three major divisions that we're expanding in. I had mentioned earlier that I was introduced to this through our business plan. So we have a B2B business to business uh, division that we're expanding in. So truly, I believe every business owner, if they want to stay in business, needs to have this plan. Not a want to have this plan, right? Mm -hmm. This is a needs to have. Employee benefits, over 34,000 companies in North America are now offering this as a voluntary group benefit. As a matter of fact, one of the fastest growing voluntary group benefits as recognized by Benefit Selling Magazine. So if you know somebody who is an HR director or business owner, you can definitely take this to them and offer this to their employees as a, as a voluntary group benefit. It adds incredible value, especially with all the confusion that's going on in healthcare right now. Business owners want to re retain good employees, and what a better way than a service that, like this that could really help them out. You could just market identity theft plans if that's a division that you're just interested in there. Um, and then we have all kinds of specialty plans. So how many of you, just without a show of hands, just how many of you know teachers, real estate professionals, law enforcement? You know, there, we have so many different specialty plans, commercial drivers that you can take advantage of. Now, a lot of the challenge is that associates, when they get started, they, they come from no sales background. I would say the, the vast majority of people have no sales background. Which is great, and which, which was my scenario when I got started with this. And it was attractive because I didn't have to create my own marketing materials. Mm -hmm. See, when I started my own video production company, I paid a buddy of mine $250 to design the logo. Mm -hmm. This to design the logo. That had, I didn't give me a business card, right? And then I had to print out the business cards. Then I had to rent my, you know, and there was all kinds of different uh, uh, involvement with the marketing. I had to develop a website. The guy that retained our website 
website top two thousand dollars to build the website sixty dollars a month to retain it oh, right mm -mm. because we sold jazz records online. <coughs> so it was an expensive deal so all these uh, the video that you saw earlier and many other videos are available for all of us in this room so that when somebody asks you know what is legal shield or what is it that legal shield does you can sh simply share a two to four minute video on exactly how this works out we have conference calls, both live and pre-recorded, so you can get people on the telephone if you can't get them in front of the computer. In-home presentations are bar, fun, bar none, my favorite. People are so busy, they're just grasping at what little time they can have to be at home. So why not sit with them and show them a 40-minute DVD, this presentation, all right? I like to argue as to whether it's better with me or in the DVD, but you know, <laughs> don't tell Dark Dallas. <laughs> Business briefings, we have professional briefings like the one that you're at. There's taking place all across North America. So if you're saying to yourself, well, I'm new to Oklahoma, I don't know many people here, you came from somewhere, right? So you probably know someone somewhere else. Well, we can direct them to a live business briefing or, or a professional lunch where they can take a look at this information in their own backyard. Now, I'm going to talk about the money. Now, ask yourselves this. I, I know a lot of you already know the commission structure. But ask yourself this, if, if you were offering a $39.85 plan outside of Legal Shield, let's say you didn't know anything about this, what do you think a fair commission would be for a $40 plan? If you went out and sold anything for $40, what do you think a fair commission would be? Maybe five, five bucks, five maybe bucks, ten. Yeah. Ten bucks, maybe? No more than 20? Yeah. When I was doing uh, my jazz record label, I had a 16% sales commission on every album it sold, which was unreal in the record industry. I had the highest, I was one of the highest paid, um, and I, I ran the company, so of course it was 16%. <laughs> of course, it made sense. But we give what I thought was tremendous was a 12-month upfront advance commission on every sale. So I didn't understand it at first, but every month that a member pays for their membership, a portion of that premium will go into residual income, but the company gives us a 12 months in advance so we can make adult money really fast. Mm -hmm. I thought this was incredible. When you market a plan, you can earn anywhere between $38 and $279 every time you share this plan with somebody else. Doesn't that sound amazing? Yes. And I was like, how does the company make any money? Because I didn't understand advanced commissions. It took me 10 times to see this chart before I figured out how this worked. All right. So let me ask, which one would you rather earn? Would you rather earn $38 or $279? $279. $279? Two seventy nine. We're going to we're going to show you how to do that in a few in, in about half an hour. Okay. Now you can just do that in advanced commissions. All right. A lot of individuals in our company are making incredible income just sharing our product. However, if you're really interested in leverage, and that's where you're getting paid whether you're working or not, does that sound attractive to mm -hmm. people? Absolutely. Whether you're working or not, what Absolutely. you want to do is you want to build a sales force, find other individuals <coughs> that are like minded, that believe in this membership, that are willing to share it with other people, and you can earn anywhere between. $38 and $203 in an override. All right? Very attractive. All right? And I, I got this part because I had a lot of friends of mine that worked in insurance. Heck, I had a friend of mine that worked down at the Jaguar car lot. And when every time he sold a car, the manager would get a little uh -huh. bonus off of every car that he sold off the lot. Mm -hmm. But I guarantee you, my friend spent 12 hours out on the floor. <laughs> right. The manager manned the coffee pot. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So it was amazing to see that time <laughs> leverage. What about the military? How many Joes do they have out on the battlefield, and how many are sitting in the White House? Right. <laughs> Is that not leverage? Absolutely, that's leverage. But why I got excited about Legal Shield was because I'm an Elvis Presley fan. Is there anybody Elvis Elvis fans in here? Uh, Just a few. We need more Elvis fans. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna play some music during the break. During play some Elvis. But see, some people believe. I don't believe it, but some people believe that Elvis died about 37 years ago. <laughs> but I happen to have good information that his estate brought in $25 million in royalties last year alone. Mm -hmm. Could you not come back from the dead for $25 million? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Absolutely. Maybe. $25 million. So when I looked at the, the royalties, the, the ongoing, long-term passive residual income that could be developed with this company, I thought this is incredible. You can earn anywhere between 18 to 25%. Uh, not just on the book of business that you write, but the book of business that your team writes forever, for the lifetime of the membership. So if I ever decide that I don't want to work anymore, or I want to uh, retire, so on and so forth, I can just quit and I'm going to continue to earn money. And if I want to, I can will this down to my children or my children's children, or sell my book of business, just like I would sell any other business. I thought that was incredible. Yeah. Because my friends in State Farm, 
The day that they leave State Farm, their book of business goes right back to State Farm. Yep. Uh huh. You all know that? Mm. And that could, oh, yeah. I would never, who would you work for for 40 years just to give it back to whoever you've been putting your blood, sweat, and tears in for 40 years? That's why I can't, I, I can never work a job again. Yeah. You know what I mean? Can never, it never makes sense. So, here's what we're going to talk about. I, I showed you on the compensation plan. Your, your base of pay is based on your level of commission. But I'm going to show you how easy it is just to move from junior associate to associate. You can choose one of three ways. <coughs> the first thing you can do is just go out and market five memberships. That's all you have to do. And you get your first promotion to, a, to associate. Now you're earning $100 per membership that you share. But you're looking after five memberships on that $39, uh, $39 plan. It's about $383 in upfront commissions. Pretty nice. The second way to do it is you go out and find one individual who wants to join you in the business. They get a membership themselves. You market two additional memberships, and then you get that advance to the level of associate. The third way is just find out two individuals. Can you think of two individuals that are interested in making additional income? Yes. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. I know an entire nation of people that are interested in additional income. <laughs> All right? I know that right now in the state of Oklahoma, 16.6% are living below the poverty level in the state mm. of Oklahoma. Right? I know that because I checked your census before I came here. Right? But not that the census is always correct. But just to, just to say, our company rewards consistency. So if you continue to take one of those three options every single month for 12 months, after that 12th month into the 13th month, you're going to start making 300. They're going to give you $300 a month in cash bonuses as long as you continue to do one of those three options and you're writing good business, maintaining over 75% persistency. However, I see some faces out there, you're not interested in cash. Well, the company also has a car bonus program where we have got an agreement with BMW that for the lease or purchase of a qualifying BMW, the company will actually give you $500 a month towards the lease or purchase of a BMW. Doesn't that sound nice? Nice. For those of you that just got started in the month of January, if you choose one of these three options this month and you continue that on through November, you could be driving your BMW before Christmas. Nice. So in 11 months, they're going to be paying out either the cash, the $300 mm -hmm. a month, or $500 towards the BMW. That's mm -hmm. incredible, folks. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's all you have to do is ask who wants a new BMW for Christmas. That's all you got to ask. And when they say yes, you just show them how we do it. Right? And that's a very simple amount of work. Another thing that's very attractive here are our all-expense-paid corporate trips. They're sending a 1,000 of us to uh, Jamaica this year as a part of an all-expense-paid trip. And folks, how many of you have been on a vacation before that you paid for? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Some more of you need to go on more vacations if this is all that's actually gone on vacation. But folks, it's a different vacation when somebody else is paying for it. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right? For those of you who haven't been on vacation, how many of you have been to a wedding reception? Anybody been to oh, yeah. a wedding reception? Oh, yeah. More people have been to wedding oh, yeah. receptions. Yeah. Do you not drink different at a wedding reception than you do at a restaurant? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there's no bar tab at the end of the night. You drink different. I understand this used to be a dry state, so there's there might be some sensitive feelings. Uh, uh -huh. There is a one-time $149 investment. Sorry. Folks, I have never seen. This is the best bang for your buck, essentially, is a $149 investment can get you started in a business. Now, understand there's going to be other investments down the road. There's events like these that there's slight fees for to get into. There's marketing supplies you're going to want to partake in. But $149, what it does is they're going to give you a personalized website where you can share those videos with other individuals and allow people to enroll for the membership of the business opportunity that you're physically not with. They're also going to do a background check because we're not looking for everybody. And we want to bring in strong individuals with a strong integrity. So we're going to do a background check. All the marketing supplies you see up here, you're going to get copies of all these marketing supplies. You're going to have access to that corporate office, over 300 employees that are going to be working on your behalf to help you build your business. But support of your, of your sponsor and your team are national. So you're going to have more support than you're ever going to need, uh, that you're never going to find outside of this. When I was in video production, Paul might be able to attest to this, I couldn't call other video producers and ask them how to build this business. <laughs> I would be asking my competition how to be their competition. Doesn't that sound ridiculous? In Legal Shield, we work together. And we're going to talk about the team environment when we come back to the training portion. What I'd like to do, um, let me just talk about the last decade, and then we're going to invite a few individuals up to share their success stories from the local market. In the last 10 years, probably the, arguably the worst 10 years in our nation's economy, our company's paid out over a billion dollars in commissions to the sales force. 
We have over 7,000 earning between 1,000 to 25,000 dollars a year. And you all can't see it, it's in braille, but it says part-time from home. You can, you can feel it on the screen if you read it. But it's up there. More than 500 earning between 25,000 to 100,000 dollars a year part-time. But I have many of my good friends are also earning between six and seven figures a year because they've, built, they've taken five, 10, 15 years to build up a book of business that's gonna pay them out for life. So I'm going to take a quick break, and what I want to do is invite some individuals up to share their success stories from the local market. So you give them a round of applause. Mr. Yeah. Johnson. Thank you. My name is Angelina Ruba, and I started Legal Shield 14 years ago. And I start because I have seven kids that time. Now I have seven grandkids too. <laughs> and I started because my kids have a tickets, and I just want to protect my family. And then three years ago, I started doing Legal Shield full time. And for all these three years, probably everyone know I'm top recruiter in the top 20 and uh, you know I love what I'm doing and uh, when I talking to people one and one about legal shield membership I given them opportunity to sign up and become associate you know people asking me how you do this and I said you know what if I want to talk to you about legal shield membership I want to explain you about legal shield opportunity that's why you have recruiting people Sorry for my English. <laughs> nice. Good morning. Paula McDay, my husband Charles McDay is not here, but uh, we have been in the business for five years. When we first got started, we were extremely busy. Both had full-time jobs, both very involved in church and raising teenagers at home. So we did not have a lot of time to work this business. We tried to fit it in between everything else and on a very spare time basis. Uh, we were able to make about $400 um, just right off the bat, and we knew this worked. We immediately knew that this worked. It was something legitimate, and there was actual money to be made. So um, even in December of last year, 2013, when people say, oh, it's too busy, people are distracted with the holidays, you can't recruit, you can't sell, that's not true because we, um, we recruited a sharp young lady in December. She's here with us today, and we are just really excited about our business taking off. So um, thank you very much. Uh, my name is Nick Fowler, and I'm 25 years old. I've been working the business pretty steady now for about a year and a half, uh, not quite two years now. And I'm just proud to say, you know, because of this company and the opportunity to all support, that our residual income uh, pays for our monthly bills, paper bills, whether we get out of bed or not. Uh, so that's that's why I love the show. My name is Herman Louette. I've been around Legal Shield almost nine years. I've seen almost every aspect of it from, you know, when we were brand new with Kroll. I've been the regional vice president of Oklahoma two separate times. Thank goodness he took over last July. Um, you know, I've been on all the trips. I've done all the things. I've got a big team that grows whether I do anything or not. I've slowed down a little bit because of other issues, but, um, you know, it continues to grow. And the money is there. The residual income is there. I get paid a lot of money, more than most people do in a regular full-time job just on my residual income because there's been thousands and thousands of memberships put in under my, uh, under my organization, and it continues to grow. So, it, you know, if you're looking for something, you may not ever want to do this full time, but if you don't, that's fine. I came out of the insurance industry, you know, and I had renewal income, which it, I sold a lot of life insurance, but it would start at 8% the first year after that. It'd go down 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I didn't have it anymore. I've been doing this almost nine years, and I've still got that residual income from memberships that were sold thousands of them way back when. So it's a huge opportunity for you. I say take it and grab it and go with it, okay? Thank you. Robert Johnson here from Tulsa, Oklahoma. I spent about uh, five and a half years in the Navy, so I definitely appreciate your service, sir. Thank you very much, mm -hmm. and all the veterans. Uh, and then I spent 20 years in the restaurant business, 
and uh, initially didn't have time for legal shield. I saw it and I'm like, ah, I don't have time for that. I'm already working 80 to 100 hours a week. But because of the system and the tools we have, I was able to introduce folks. Uh, because of that, I was able to make $100 a day for my first five months in business just by referring people to the service and the team that supported us. Uh, and after that point, after five months, kind of going, making more part-time saying, talk to these folks. And I was making full-time work 80 to 100 hours a week and, and what I thought was my dream. And it's really easy to have that dream Should wait a second. So I, ma I made some adjustments uh, in three and a half years. I now make passively more than I made 100 hours a week in a month. I've had weeks that were better than that and months, months are just ridiculous. I didn't even know it was possible. Um, I thought you had to work real hard all the time to get ahead. And my dad always said work smart, not hard, but he was still working hard. So I got some better advice and better training from people like Mr. Ward. So if you would, you can come back up front and you want me to transition. Let's bring Mr. Ward back up if you would. Yeah. Right, you Incredible stories. I love stories. I tell you what, and here's stories of success. Here's we're going to finish up real quick. I, I was just the same. I mentioned I was a business owner and uh, running two companies, my video production company and a jazz record label that we had uh, resurrected from the dead and we should have left it dead. But that's not here today. But, uh, you know, it, I, I had slivers of time to do anything else as well, but I was already referring business to people for different things, plumbers, landscapers, the whole nine yards. So I had support of my, you know, my executive director at the time, and I would just refer this out. I made $700 my very first month just in referrals. Wow. And, you know, and that didn't even get me, I mean, I liked the extra $700, but that still didn't get me really excited. But uh, you fast forward and two years later, I had an $8,000 like month, mm -hmm. like one month. And this was right after I'd lost both my video production company and my jazz record label. Uh, so it was a time wow. where I really needed the support. Legal Shield was there for me. So it's all I've been doing for almost seven years now. So uh, the person that invited you out is probably going to sh share with you because we're going to take you through some action steps. First person that sees this presentation <laughs> says, you know what? The business is really not for me. And that's fine. Like I said earlier, we're not looking for everybody. However, the membership, I believe, is 100% for every single person. So the person that invited you out probably going to share with you an application like this, a two-page form. Um, and I would suggest you go ahead and get it filled out today uh, because this is something that can end up on your honey-do list that never gets done. And then when you're going to want it, it's not going to be there for you. Mm -hmm. So get your membership active right away. The second person says, you know, I have questions about the business, but it's interesting. So I'm going to be around, and some of the leaders you saw sharing their testimonies are going to be around to answer some questions regarding our business model. It is a unique business model, and so you're probably going to have some intelligent questions. We want to make sure that you write, make the right decision for you. The third person says, you know what? You could have shut up as soon as you said that you could turn in a $40 plan or anywhere between $50 to $250 every time you share this plan. Uh, folks, we're going to stop after this presentation. We're going to take a quick break, come back, and we're going to share with you exactly how you can get started building a legal shield business for yourself today. Our commissions pay out 24 hours after they process, so within 48 hours of writing business. For those of you in the room, you write business this weekend, you could actually get paid by Tuesday. Mm. So that is pretty incredible business model. Um, so with that, uh, go out and sell your first membership so you can take advantage of our uh, associate benefits package. And lastly is go ahead and earn five. I want to take one of those three options that we mentioned earlier so I can see each one of you driving around a brand new BMW by Christmas. So with that, it's been an honor serving you all. We're going to take a quick 15-minute break. We're going to bring Mr. Johnson back up to make an announcement. Give it up for Mr. Ward.